China has just defied every expectation. SMIC, the Chinese chipmaker once throttled by U.S. sanctions, has revealed its 2 nanometer chip, a move that could completely disrupt the global tech hierarchy. The question everyone's asking, is the U.S. already too late to halt China's meteoric rise? Let's break this down, because what's happening here is nothing short of seismic. Here's the shocking part. Just months after being cut off from the EUV technology, the absolute gold standard for advanced chip making, SMIC has delivered a working 2 nanometer prototype. And get this, they're already preparing for mass production. This isn't some conceptual tech demo. This is a monumental leap forward, one that could change everything. The announcement dropped at a major tech conference and sent waves of disbelief throughout the industry. No one saw this coming. Meanwhile, the US? Silence. Perhaps even scrambling, trying to figure out how to respond. Taiwan, home to chip titan TSMC, is starting to feel the heat. Because their lead? It just shrunk dramatically. The tech world is in a frenzy. The million dollar question. How did SMIC pull this off under the weight of crippling sanctions? Before we dive into that, do us a quick favor, subscribe to our channel. It helps us reach a wider audience and continue bringing you deep dives like this. Now let's break down why this 2 nanometer chip is such a game changer. In the world of computer chips, a nanometer refers to the size of transistors, the tiny switches that flick on and off to carry out calculations. The smaller the transistors, the more you can pack onto a chip. More transistors mean more power, greater efficiency, and the ability to handle massive tasks, like artificial intelligence, which requires lightning-fast data processing. A 2 nanometer chip is next level, pushing technology into uncharted territory. To put it in perspective, a human hair is about 80,000 nanometers thick. We're talking microscopic scale here, like fitting an entire city's worth of technology into the space of a single neighborhood. So how does this stack up against the competition? Apple's M3 chip, which powers their latest iPhones and MacBooks, runs on a 3 nanometer process. That's already incredibly impressive. It's why your phone feels snappier and lasts longer on a single charge. TSMC, the Taiwanese giant making Apple's chips, is also working on 2 nanometer technology but isn't yet mass producing it. Then there's SMIC, China's very own chip maker. They've not only created a working 2 nanometer prototype, but they're already preparing to scale production. If they pull this off, they're not just playing catch up, they're taking the lead. Meanwhile, the US is left in the dust. Intel a major player in the U.S. chip industry, is still rolling out 7 nanometer chips, with 3 nanometers on the horizon. Some U.S. sectors are at 3 nanometers too, but China's already at 2. The gap is closing fast. It's like this. While the U.S. is upgrading to a top-tier sports car, China's already test-driving a spaceship. And don't forget about AI. These 2 nanometer chips could give China a massive advantage in AI development, enabling them to process data at unprecedented speeds. That's a huge edge when AI is poised to shape everything. From healthcare to national security. The stakes here, monumentally high. So, how did SMIC manage to pull off a 2 nanometer chip without access to the world's most advanced chip making tools? That's where things get even more intriguing. Let's start with EUV, extreme ultraviolet lithography. This is the cutting edge tech used to manufacture next gen chips. Think of EUV as a super precise laser, carving the smallest of circuits onto silicon wafers allowing companies like TSMC and Samsung to create chips with transistors smaller than ever before. But there's a catch. EUV machines come from ASML, a Dutch company, and US sanctions have blocked SMIC from acquiring these tools. Without EUV, creating a 2 nanometer chip should have been nothing short of impossible. But SMIC didn't back down. They found a way around it. One potential strategy? They could have turned to DUV, Deep Ultraviolet Lithography, the older tech that EUV replaced. It's not as advanced, but it's still powerful if used cleverly. The key here is a technique known as multi-patterning. Instead of a single perfect exposure using EUV, SMIC would use multiple DUV exposures to gradually build up the intricate patterns needed for a 2 nanometer chip. It's slower, more difficult, like trying to carve a sculpture with a dull chisel instead of a fine tool. But it works. If SMIC has mastered this technique, they've essentially taken an outdated tool and turned it into a game changer. Proving that innovation isn't just about having the latest tech, it's about how you use what you have. And that's not all. Huawei, another Chinese tech behemoth, has been stuck in the same sanctions trap as SMIC. They've been pouring resources into chip research, looking for a way to break free from Western tech domination. Word on the street, at least in tech circles, is that SMIC and Huawei have quietly teamed up. Think of it as two friends swapping notes before a big exam. Huawei has the cash and R&D strength, while SMIC has the manufacturing chops. Together, they could have cracked the code, sharing knowledge and resources in secret. But the plot thickens. 
China has been steadily pushing for self-reliance in every aspect of its tech industry, building homegrown supply chains from the ground up. That means SMIC doesn't have to rely on foreign suppliers for critical materials like silicon wafers, chemicals and equipment. It's like having your own kitchen so you don't have to beg your neighbor for ingredients. By leveraging these domestically grown supply chains, SMIC has managed to sidestep the sanctions that have restricted access to Western technology. When you put it all together, SMIC's success becomes even more impressive. They've found a way to innovate, using older tech in smarter ways, and they've built a supply chain that's completely independent of the West. All of this without the help of Western suppliers. In the end, this is more than just a breakthrough in chip technology. It's a signal that China's rise in the global tech landscape may be inevitable. The balance of power is shifting. The U.S. is no longer in the driver's seat. And right now it's playing catch-up to a force that's moving faster than anyone could have predicted. This isn't just a victory in technology, it's a declaration of war. A bold, ruthless statement that China is no longer playing by the old rules. It's the rebirth of resilience, an unwavering march toward total independence. Whether it's DUV multi-patterning as a lifeline for Huawei, or a powerhouse local supply chain that leaves competitors in the dust, SMIC is making it clear. They don't need the West anymore. And the world? The world is watching and starting to tremble. Then SMIC drops a nuclear bombshell, two nanometer chips. Where does that leave the United States? And how will this send shockwaves through the global tech arena? Let's break it down, because the implications are far bigger than anyone could have imagined. First, let's talk about Washington's response. Or rather, the eerie, chilling silence coming from the Capitol. No outrage, no panic, no high-profile press conferences, not even a whisper of new sanctions. It's as if the U.S. doesn't even know how to respond. It's like a punch to the gut that no one's ready to recover from. Why? Because the silence speaks volumes. It's a clear sign that Washington is caught completely off guard. They're scrambling in the shadows, trying to process how SMIC pulled this off despite every weapon in the U.S. arsenal. But don't mistake that silence for inaction. Behind closed doors, the stakes are higher than ever. The U.S. has weaponized its tech controls, cutting off China's access to critical technology. EUVD machines, software, pressure on allies like the Netherlands to block sales. But this, this breakthrough threatens to expose all those efforts as nothing more than a paper tiger. SMIC's leap forward could mean the sanctions have failed spectacularly. And now, new sanctions are coming. You can bet on it. Buckle up, because SMIC's advance could push the U.S. to the brink of more drastic measures, perhaps going after China's entire domestic supply chain, or doubling down on its attacks against Huawei's remaining lifelines. The U.S. can't afford to sit back anymore. Now look at the giants, NVIDIA, Intel, Qualcomm. These are the titans that keep America's tech empire alive. But SMIC's audacious move is shaking their foundations to the core. NVIDIA is the undisputed ruler of the AI chip market, powering everything from AI-driven chatbots to self-driving cars. But imagine this, China, churning out their own 2 nanometer chips for AI. The cost advantage alone would put SMIC in direct competition with NVIDIA, not just in China but across the entire globe. The West's tech dominance could slip into irrelevance faster than anyone thought possible. And Intel? Already lagging behind playing catch-up with its 7 nanometer chips while SMIC is already eyeing Suen. Intel could find itself utterly irrelevant. If SMIC can scale this production effectively, especially in regions where geopolitics aren't as toxic, Intel's customer base could vanish overnight. What about Qualcomm? The company is heavily reliant on TSMC's cutting-edge manufacturing capabilities. But if SMIC's 2 nm chips are better, faster, and cheaper, Qualcomm's grip on the global mobile market could slip through its fingers. It's not just about competing in technology, it's about survival. Now let's turn our folks to Taiwan, and the true heart of global chip-making, TSMC. Taiwan has been the world's leading chip-maker, creating 3 nm 5 nm and soon 2 nm chips. But SMIC's breakthrough is shaking the foundations of Taiwan's dominance. If China can mass-produce 2 nanometer chips, TSMC's hold on the tech world could dissolve in a matter of months. TSMC has long been the gold standard, but SMIC's rise could shrink that lead overnight. Taiwan's entire economy is tied to TSMC, and if its dominance starts to erode, the island could face an economic catastrophe. And then there's the geopolitical nightmare. Taiwan is a key U.S. ally, and TSMC's chips are seen as a cornerstone of U.S. defense and power. But reports are already surfacing that TSMC is under increasing pressure from Washington facing fines for allegedly selling chips to Huawei. SMIC's rise only makes the situation more complicated, tightening the noose on TSMC from both Washington and Beijing. It's a perfect storm, and Taiwan's grip on the global tech scene has never been more vulnerable. For the West, this goes beyond the technology. This is about losing power. 
Losing influence, losing control of the future. Chips power everything. AI, defense, military systems, the very backbone of the modern world. If China becomes self-sufficient in chips, the US will lose its ability to dictate the tech flow. And that means a complete reordering of the global balance of power. Suddenly, countries that once relied on Western chips could turn to China, where tech is cheaper and free from the threat of sanctions. The global map is shifting, and the US is being left behind. The world is watching, and the countdown is on for the US to make its move. So what happens next? Can SMIC actually pull off mass production? They've got a working prototype, which is monumental, but scaling that to millions of chips? That's a completely different challenge. It's like going from baking a perfect cake in your kitchen to running a high-stakes factory. And there are obstacles. Yield issues are already popping up. Posts on X suggest SMAs is struggling to produce perfect chips every time, a classic problem when pushing technology to its limits. Without EUV machines, SMIC has to rely on slower, more expensive DUV multi-patterning. But don't count them out. China has billions at its disposal, and SMIC has the full backing of the Chinese government. With continuous investment and a drive to optimize their production, mass production could happen as soon as 2025 or 2026. That's a long way off. But with Huawei's relentless R&D, don't be surprised if they get there faster than anyone expects. Can China dominate AI chips with this tech? SMIC's 2 and meter chips have the raw power and efficiency needed to compete with the best. It's like upgrading your car with a turbo engine. It doesn't just keep up, it leads. SMIC and Huawei are already China's best shot at catching up to NVIDIA and AMD. And if they perfect this technology, the West might be looking over its shoulder.